President Bongbong Marcos was very, very clear in his third State of the Nation address yesterday that all Philippine offshore gaming operators or POGOs are banned immediately. Now, what is not clear for many is whether or not internet gaming licensees or IGLs are covered by this ban. The answer in this report by Marian Enriquez. If President Marcus's directive in his third sauna were the basis, legal pogos should all be out of the country by December. But ACT teacher Spartalis representative Franz Castro wants to know if pogos and internet gaming licensees or IGLs are one and the same. Bagpur answered in the affirmative. It turns out it's the same operations with different names. Clarify ko lang, once and for all, kasi... Uh, kahapon kasi sinabi ni Presidente yung POGO. So, POGO and IGL are the same. Tama? Yes, ma'am. Kaya po, pag nagrekomenda kayo kay Presidente, sabi ko nga, ilinaw natin kay Presidente. Baka yung sinasabi nyo kasi, POGO, ibaban, pero dahil binago nyo nga po yung, yung guidelines, yung IGL will remain. Susunod po ako sa utos ng Pangulong Ferdinand Marcos Jr. At maliwanag po yung utos na yung kagabi. For the Presidential Anti-Organized Crime Task Force, what matters at this point is that POGOs are now banned. PAOC is expecting to meet with other law enforcement agencies to make POGO crackdown actions swift and final. But if it were up to House Ways and Means Chairman Joey Salceda, there should still be a law that supports Marcus Jr.'s order. This way, succeeding administrations cannot overturn the order and allow POGOs in again. Yes, we can. Para it becomes a law. Para it becomes a law. But the president has full powers over PAGCOR. He has full, uh, um, he has the executive discretion with respect to the, you know, he can, pag hindi sumunod si Altenko, di tanggalin niya. At the moment, there are two bills and three resolutions in the House of Representatives that target the permanent removal of offshore gaming operations in the country. Speaker Martin Romualdez has already asked concerned committees to revisit all these measures and come up with an encompassing substitute bill. Like Salceda, the rest of the House leadership wants this new version to be infallible as it is meant to become a priority legislation. I want all bases in the total POGO band covered in the proposed measures. We have to ensure that the POGO operators will not just result to guerrilla operators or go undercover. The law must be crafted with ironclad provisions to prevent a resurrection of this criminal and illegal activities. And while there's already a blanket ban on POGOs, the lower chamber is not dropping its investigation on them. The House of Representatives is still zeroing in on illegal activities associated with POGOs. Itutuloy namin ito. Bakit? Kasi we must uh, put people or hold people accountable. No? Uh, yung mga nasa likod ng pamamayagpag nitong mga illegal na POGO na ito, eh dapat managot. Eh dapat magkaroon ng accountability na sa ganun ay eh hindi tutularan sa aking paniwala. For News 5, Marian Enriquez, We Are One News.